To perform a reflash process on a Honda vehicle, you will need the following items. Website subscription to the Honda J2534 reflash site, an active internet connection, a battery booster pack or battery charger, your MACO VCI and current software, and a personal computer. The purpose of doing this reflash is to obtain current vehicle software and overcome specific drivability or diagnostic trouble code issues. By being able to perform these functions in your shop, you will be able to be more efficient by providing your customers with a proper repair without delay. You can also realize additional profits by doing the reflash in-house and save time by not sending it to the dealer. Now that you understand the purpose and profitability of reflash, let's go ahead and do a Honda reflash. First thing you must always do is hook up a battery booster pack to maintain battery voltage throughout the reflash. Then we're going to go ahead and hook up the VCI to the vehicle data link connector and turn the ignition key on. And then we'll begin our reflash. We'll click on the icon for Honda, pass through. And then we're going to go ahead and select the SPX VCI. At that point in time, we'll click OK. And we're going to agree to the terms from Honda. Once we are ready, you'll notice that we have some flashing lights. To start the test, it's always telling you to go ahead and hook up the VCI. And it's telling you to hook up the battery booster pack. And now we're going to go ahead and press the start button. You'll notice the green light's flashing, and once the green light goes solid, we'll then be able to click the next button. In a few seconds, the light will go from flashing to solid green, and we'll click next. Now that it's gone solid green, we're going to go ahead and click the next button. And at that point in time, we're ready to select the vehicle. So I'm going to tap on Auto Select, that's A-U-T-O-S-E-L, as in the soft key to the far right. Once I click on that, I'm going to select which computer I want to reflash, either the transmission or the engine computer. I'm selecting PGMIA for this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit complete. At that point in time on the screen, it will tell us what calibration is on the car's computer. We'll compare that to the information we pulled from Global OBD2 Mode 9. When you go to Mode 9, you'll then get your calibration for what's present on that computer. Once I've compared it, I know what's on the computer, we know what's available to reflash, We'll go ahead and tap on the calibration we are going to reflash into the vehicle. And then we're going to hit complete. And we'll confirm that we have one calibration going to the newest one. We'll tap on yes. And you'll notice now, once I'm ready to start the reflash, we'll start the update process by clicking on the update button. Now that I've clicked on the update button, the reflash is in process. This will take approximately 30 minutes depending on the vehicle. Always remember to read every single screen and every single line on each page of the reflash. Doing so will ensure a proper reflash. In this case, we must always turn the ignition key off, then back on within 60 seconds to complete the reflash. And that concludes the Honda reflash.